Because ultimately, what makes you you is nothing more than a feeling within the body. That is you, consciousness inside the body. Hey there guys, it's me again, Ryan. And today I've got a video pertaining to the illusion of an ego. As people, we're quite emotional, quite emotional throughout our entire lives. But in the beginning of our lives, we needed a way to communicate our emotions. And so what we started doing was we started copying other people within our environment that were able to efficiently display how they felt. Facial features, huge boisterous movements, okay? Even their vocal tones were copied off of other people, including their selection of language that they used in order to express how they feel. Either indirectly by muttering to themselves, or directly in order to describe how one feels to appear. When you have interactions with people, what you're actually seeing is nothing more than an idea. It's the idea in which they've used in order to express an emotion that they've collected throughout their past. That being said, what you're actually seeing is nothing more than an archive of that person's journey throughout life and their many interactions with other people. But for somebody who doesn't quite know what it is that they're looking at, they can assume that someone's boisterous behavior is nothing more than an inflamed ego, a character. But as I've just described, it's not a character. It's nothing more than a soul expressing itself. Okay? So that is an illusion of the ego there. Throughout life, many of us realize that within our past, we haven't been conducting ourselves properly how we feel. We've been choosing the wrong actions, either taking it out on other people or just acting very absurdly in front of the public. When those people have yet to come to terms with how they used to behave within the past, see another soul demonstrating such a behavior, such an expressive behavior in the same manner, it can be very displeasing to the eye. And this is when you come into contact with people who ego shame others, who have yet to learn how to fathom right or wrong. Because you see, when we're kids, when we're really yet to learn how to express our emotions, we really don't know the difference between right or wrong. The soul doesn't know that. That's something that we have to learn, something we pick up throughout our lives. So naturally we start to pick up all of the habits, good and bad. So in a way, ego shaming isn't actually ego shaming. Because in a way, we're just judging ourselves when we're seeing someone who's reminding us of how bad we think we were within the past, or how bad we still think we are. But like I said, this isn't an ego. This is a soul demonstrating emotion through an idea that they're seeing within their environment off of many people. Another example of an ego illusion is the ego that many people tend to relate with, no pun intended. This is an ego that comes about because the soul, when it comes into the world in this weird amnesia state, not knowing what it is, gets persuaded into listening to others, either through media or through direct contact. Now, what do I mean by persuading? Well, through the media, growing up as a kid, you'll start to see a lot of people on TV identifying with a name, mostly rap artists identifying with a different name other than what they've been given at birth. Uh, cars, uh, clothes, jewelry, grills comes to mind, you know, the shiny teeth. Hairstyles, it's deep, it's subconscious, but it's there. As children, we learn to identify things with character. Another one that happens that's really deep ingrained, one before we started watching TV, is cultural influences. Food, language, language is a big one. The way that we dress through religion or through more culture, our family, we tend to identify these things with who we are. But the one that was before all else was our name. So from the get-go, we learn to attach things and items to who we are. All of these external influences have one thing in common. They trigger emotion and we identify with the emotion. And that's what makes us feel as if these things are us. It's more of a glitch within our awareness. We tend to lose sight as to what it is that we're identifying with. We end up identifying with the cause of the emotion, rather than identifying with the fact that we are the energy in motion within our bodies. When you look at it that way, you'll never fall into the delusion of somebody being able to take a piece of you by taking something from you, whether that be a name, a material object, your culture, 
or something else that you enjoy doing. Because ultimately, what makes you you is nothing more than a feeling within the body. That is you, consciousness inside the body. And when you think inside the body, when you specifically think within certain areas of the body, you cause a vibration within the organs of the body. And these organs help stimulate the senses of emotions throughout your entire organism. Okay? That is you. Look at it like an extension of you. But ultimately, it's still you inside of this bottle. That way, you'll avoid the illusion of always having something to lose because you're complete already as is. That being said, what many people think is an ego when it comes to the soul being unconscious, birthed into this world, unaware as to how it's going to figure out who it is, or better put, what it is, it only becomes a who when somebody says who you are, when somebody creates an identity of who you are. What you are is something entirely different. What you are you need to remember, you can only remember, by sitting there and doing some kind of regression or having some kind of a spiritual awakening which causes you to trigger memories of a time before here. But who you are is your name, is your house, your car, it's all these things. The word who doesn't resemble a person, a consciousness that has amnesia, that is carrying a bunch of things. And when you see somebody and you say, that person's got a crazy ego, well, they've got a very flamboyant ego, whatever word you may choose to describe their ego, really what you're doing is you're just describing a bunch of stuff. I'm Ryan J.C. of Ryan James Crubber. This has been your potential, the illusion of the ego, two things that many people get confused, how the soul conducts emotion and falling under the illusion of seeing material items as people rather than things. The word who is one of the words that we use which quite literally shouldn't exist because it doesn't exist. It exists as a standalone word in order to support an illusion. The other two words are black, as in racial black, and the word reality or real don't exist. The words literally don't exist. They only exist to back an illusion. When you escape out of these illusions, when it comes to the words that bind you to an idea of reality, your interactions with people, life, everything gets easier. Can you imagine a world where people literally didn't see color, race, because they didn't believe in the word black? I've made videos on what it means to be black before. How melanin really isn't a black pigment, but it's technically, from a certain perspective, brown. And when you get really, really small, looking at the amino acids that create the genetic material of a melanocyte, which is nothing more than an organism inside of your body, which creates more melanin within your system, the melanin itself, when you really get down to the smallest particle of the melanin, is nothing more than a polymorphic structure of certain amino acids. And these amino acids have taken the color of either blue or orange. And when you take blue and orange and you look at them from a far eye, they look brown. And when you compile these brown melanin compositions on top of each other, they look black, but they're not actually black. And here's another thing, unless you're an albino, albino is born without any melanin, okay? You all have melanin in your system. Melanocytes create melanin. Okay, everyone's got melanin. If you've got brown anywhere on your body, whether that be through freckles, moles, hair, if you've got green eyes, I'm going to break it to you, you've got melanin in your system because no one has uh, green pigment. That being said, everyone literally has the same stuff inside them. So there's no room for race when you get outside of that illusionary word which everyone has become so accustomed to, black or black people, it doesn't exist. Reality is another one. But for me to explain that, probably gonna break my head and a bunch of other people's heads, but those of you who have taken DMT, who have had astral projection experiences, or have had some kind of psychedelic experience, knows what I'm talking about when it comes to the word reality, not actually, well, having any kind of substance when it comes to how things actually are here in this world. I'm Ryan JC, Ryan James Crubber. This is something to think about. This has been your potential. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And you can also head on over there to look at that video if you want. And you can follow me through on now to social media by checking out the links in the description below. Peace.